Hello there and welcome to... What the hell is this guy doing? This guy is doing Let's Play Diddy's Conquest, Donkey Kong Country 2, the other way around, or something or other. And, you know, I thought I'd let the intro music play a little bit more jabbering on and... This is the first file I did last week and then I noticed halfway through, you know, literally halfway through, 47%, that my, um... Uh, that my recording was completely screwed up, so I waited a week. Otherwise, I'm saying the exact same things. Although, I will be saying the exact same things because I'm playing this the exact same way because I do that anyway, every time. Th I'm doing this game because it's one of my f absolute favorites of all time. I can and I can play it blind. I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing. My, f my finger is in hands and everything. They do have all of this on their own. I I really don't have much of a say in what's happening on screen. Maybe they do that differently occasionally. <laughs> but not that. And I usually don't miss all the bananas. Hey, but at least that timing worked out this time. Seriously, this this game I'm yeah, it plays itself. I am playing it. You know, uh, yeah. <sighs> and, yeah, it's... Ah! <laughs> this game is absolutely beautiful. It sounds great, it plays great, it looks good for a Super Nintendo game. And, yeah, you know, I, I know uh, Super Nintendo games isn't exactly what I've been doing. But, um, well, you might have seen that I've done one once. I mean, not a best play, but a video. Off, you know, this game. Because I'm you're just good at this, and that's the other thing. It's one of the very few games I'm actually really good at. That, and that, I... You know how, how I usually go, oh, I, I, I completely suck at all these games, and I can't aim, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, not with this one. Not with this one. This one I absolutely destroy. <sighs> and, yeah, and I love it for that. Well, uh, yeah. And I can destroy it because I love it. Ah. I have um, gotten, or I should have finished, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D last week. Well, largely finished. And yeah, so it got me into the mood of playing this again. And I shall make a couple of comparisons throughout the LP. Because why not? It's at that, that way it's at least slightly topical what I'm doing here. Because, you know, when... What, what did the copyright at the start say this game was from? 1993? Hang on. No. 1995? No. 5 is too late. 3... Shouldn't it be 4? No, it was 5. Because I'm doing the mental math and I think I got the first one when I, when I was 12. Maybe 11. But yeah, that's the other thing, you know, this is pure nostalgia. But not, well, not just pure nostalgia, it's not like I've played this the last time 10 years ago and that's it. I play this like three times every year, because it's just that good and satisfying above all. Ah, I need the O. Well, I don't need it. You need it in returns, which is, you know, which I didn't know until, until recently. Because they don't give you lives there and, you know, in in here, collecting the Kong gives you lives. Also doing that makes the Super Nintendo slow down. But also the, um, the emulator. Yes, I'm playing it on an emulator. You can probably hear it because the sound is a bit... Ugh. The sound is better on ZSNES. However, if you care, I need to use uh, SNES 9X for this because ZSNES and those are the two emulators. Actually, there's a third one, but that's t absolutely horrible. Because um, ZSNES has a unique bug with Donkey Kong Country 2 that I'll explain later. Uh, and SNES 9X doesn't have that. Also, that is something that uh, this, this installment does over uh, Donkey Kong Country 1. And Donkey Kong Country Returns, oddly enough. Um, you stop in mid-air when you throw something, which is incredibly useful. And, um... 
Yeah, for some reason they took it out in Returns again, because Returns goes back to the first uh, Donkey Kong Country a lot more than the second one. Actually, I'm not sure it has anything out of the second one. Not really. Ah! Oh my god! That has never happened in my life! Ah, but the good thing about this one as opposed to Returns is you can just redo the bonus levels. In Returns you lose them, and then you have to restart the level. Which is... why did they do that? It's... okay, maybe... No, why did they do that? Because... what? Programming limitations? That can hardly be, just program the damn thing differently. My guess is fake difficulty, because Returns is kind of full of that. This one can get difficult later on, in theory. But I like the difficulty in this. Well, cause, probably because I can beat it. Also, I made this a theme last time. I hate his little song and dance number at the end, when he wins levels. I want to win more levels with Dixie Kong, but if I play as Dixie Kong, then I use the, her hair ability, which I have not yet showed off. And, you know, I can't expect really anyone to know anything about that game. Um, um, but if I use Dixie, then I use her hair ability. Which I guess I shall demonstrate, because it gets me to a hook easier. She can float! You know. Which is a bit... Eh. Fine, I'll use her just because. Ah! No, they don't go ah there. And I know that that bunch of bananas uh, lands on top of the crate if I kill the one on the bottom. That's... that's just... This is yeah. That's one of the little tons of little details that I noticed over the years and still make use of and count on to not break my flow. I don't think I've ever LP'd a game like this. Like, you know, just do do it. Cause you know, a lot of them I did blind, which is a bit eh, which has its ups and downs. Spoiler! Slow down. <laughs> you can hit these with your animal body. And I wish that mechanic had come, come back or stayed for returns. Ah! Sometimes I jump on him, sometimes I don't. And I think because I jumped on him... Ah! Uh, ah! Yeah. Uh, um... No, I thought because I jumped on him, the invis invincibility would run out before I make it to the bonus barrel, but it didn't, and that's usually the case. I get the invincibility and make it to the bonus barrel before that. I just know how to do how to do that, and you know I have this rhythm and flow and blah. And in the first round, I get all the lives at the end of the. And her ending music is like a thousand times better than that stupid wannabe hip hop stuff. Last week I n neglected to mention something, which I shall remedy today. This level has my, or well, these kinds of levels, because you know they repeat it, has my, has the f my absolute favorite music. Also, yes, because that trick didn't work last time either. The bouncing barrel. Hitting the other guy, saying... That was me waiting for the music to play out. I shall do that occasionally. I, I try not to do it, you know, just standing still for no damn reason. Or glitching. There wasn't a glitch. There was a feature. No, it really is. Also, this bonus level. I, I have no idea what the way is. I just do this and I, I, I'm at the end. If you ask me the way, I have no idea. 
Oh, well, it's sort of don't follow the bananas. <laughs> also, bananas is a pet peeve of mine. Because it's bananas. There's like three A's in there. Pronounce them as A's, or, or as R's, I should say. Because <laughs> I hate it when people. I don't hate it, but I kind of hate it. When people say bananas. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? You, need, you, should, you should see a doctor about that. Because that is not healthy or normal or anything. If you say bananas. <laughs> I mean, seriously, bananas? You sound stupid. <laughs> bananas. Let's, let's go collect the bananas. And then, yeah, I shall stop. <clears throat> Actually, we're not even uh, um, rescuing the ban banana horde in, in this game. Like we do in... Uh, the, the, the regular Donkey Kong Country. Regular? What the hell is regular? This is regular. Uh, uh, um, in Donkey Kong Country 1. We're rescuing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the text at the. Ah, well, usually I do that, but I was distracted by the text. Um, the text at the start, where I got that first. Um first life in the cabin it explains the story of the, or the plot of this game I wouldn't call it a story I mean it's a platform what the hell do you want for a story um Donkey Kong has been kidnapped in case you didn't read that because I just I I don't read that anymore I mean it says har 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 at the end I know that much oh wait I usually yeah I usually you know use the damn animal for this but um, last time I wondered what the level is like without it, because I don't usually do that. Because, you know, it's an animal level, so I'll use the animal. But, eh, let's do it without. R r r I can't remember his name. Ra r rattle? Rattle? It's a stupid name. It's a rattlesnake. I, I'm not even sure it's a rattlesnake. Bouncy, squi squiggly, I don't know. I kind of hate the snake. To be honest, which is why I picked this level to <laughs> just skip him. Ah, uh, so you get him back here, and then I'll keep him. I li just like to be stylish like that, you know, skipping the one dragonfly. <laughs> you know those little comics or whatever, where um. Um, people say something, or where, uh, where they don't write down a word in several languages, and at the end you have German, and it sounds like you know, completely mad. No, no don't. And I, I like that Dragonfly is an instance where English is the mad one. You know, it's Libella in German and Libella in Italian and something similar in French and other languages, beautiful languages. And, you know, then you get to English and it's a dragonfly. What? Where the hell did you get that from? Because, uh, you know, usually it's with um, the classic German example of attention, attenzione, attentie. Attention, attention, and then in German, Achtung, <laughs> which is, you know, very fun. Uh, but yeah. Also, this is the hardest bonus stage ever. I have no idea how people ever managed to get through this. And yeah, just climb down the middle. I guess it's a trick that you have to know and. Especially on um, in returns, I've noticed that a lot of those things come down to little tricks that you have to figure out more than just skill as such. It does require some skill. I mean, there's skill involved in moving relatively precisely or moving where you want to go. Oh yeah, last week I didn't have the other monkey. Ha! I'm playing better today. I don't know. G, um, after the coin, right? Yep. And, oh yeah, um, that's the other thing about this game. It controls beautifully. 
It's like you can make pixel perfect jumps almost. And which is another reason why I love it and why I'm good at it. Because I don't like being good at the game where you have to like contort the mechanics to, you know, suit your. By the way, he's much better for this. Um, oh, also, there's coins to be had. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Ah, oh, it never happens. Uh, fine. This way we get the good music, unless I die, which shouldn't happen. But, uh, yeah. Ah! Right, the first one. Maybe she is better for the second part, because he, you know, flies in circles. And dead. Great. Well, yeah. Also, I do like the duality of the monkeys. Because, you know, she is better for some things than others. And, yeah, that's it for the first episode, because I'm doing a World Per episode, because that fits nicely. And I'm through them quick enough. Uh, however, spoiler on the second one, because, you know, on the first one I got exclamation mark, all the bonuses and DK coin, all the DK coins. That won't happen here. That won't happen in all the, in any, in, in any of the other worlds, actually. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, because it's, you know, it's some old Super Nintendo title. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. I said it already. Bye.